Okay guys, just let me introduce you to my trailer. It's a three quarter ton trailer. It's uh, obviously, I bought it, it was home built. It had a box on the back. I cut the box off, I was gonna do some other modification to it and I've got around to it. It's still got the wheel arches. It's got an axle leaf spring suspension. And one thing it's got is just a regular tow hitch. It hasn't got anything fancy. I'm just showing you that. There's no braking system, okay? Because in the UK, if it's less than three quarters of a tonne, you don't need a braking system. But getting this thing going, what I noticed, that there was some brake shoes down here. There's a braking. If we go in a little closer, you'll notice that it did once have some uh, brake shoes. So what I've done is I've actually uh, removed this wheel, removed the drum, removed the, the gubbins, and put the wheel back on. Right. Now I've done it to this side and got the wheel free and moving, it's nice. I'm gonna do it to this side. Uh, this still has got its uh, brake shoes in. You can hear it just there, rubbing. Get those out, it's free and moving. Now, what I'm about to show you, if your trailer has an active braking system, it's actually working, it's all connected up to the uh, hitch, do not do this. And if your trailer tows more combined weight and trailer, more than three quarters of a ton, that's 750 kilograms, don't do that, that's in the UK. If you're in a separate country, uh, other than the UK, the laws might be slightly different. You might, you might be okay with just doing this. You might actually, every trailer might need a braking system. So please check it out before you even attempt this. I'm doing this because I know that this trailer is not going beyond the uh, three quarter ton limit. Okay. Right, okay, first things first, we're going to have to remove the wheel for that. You'll need a wheel brace, something like this. If you haven't got one, you could even use a so ratchet like this and socket. Okay, here goes. You might want to sort of rest this on the ground to grip the wheel. I find it just quick. Uh, Quick uh, movement like this should do it, or not. Usually it works with the wheel being stiff. Anyway, I'll press pause and uh, you'll see the wheel removed. Okay, had to uh, actually jam the wheel up against the shed to be able to do it. Okay, so let's uh, remove the wheel nuts. off. Right, there's this drum. Okie kirky. Now, usually with a drum like this, uh, there's a little hole if I turn this there. See just there's a little hole. What you'd have to do is you have to look through that hole, line it up with an adjuster, stick a screwdriver in, adjust it. Or there might be an adjuster on the back to undo with a spanner. Um, if it's solid obviously you won't be able to turn it. So we're gonna to have to remove the center cap. Now this center cap has three little bolts here. Sometimes it's a little thing that just pops on. You can just gently tap it off and lever it off a screwdriver. But in this case, <coughs> turn mill spanner, start to undo the nuts. We could use a socket if you like. Okay, last bolt and off the cap comes. And what you have now, is if I uh, focus in a bit, if I can, here we go, we've got this here which is a castle nut, we've got a little um, pin which will have to be uh, taken out, this, uh, okay, might actually get a better view of this for you guys. Yeah, the castle nut. Okay, so you've got a little castle nut, there's a pin going through there that holds the nut on. Very similar to a car wheel. Um, so just have to straighten this uh, pin out and remove it.
If you sit and done. There we go. So pull that for safekeeping. And next we need to undo that. Okay, okay. Let's find the right size socket. Did have the right size socket. I think this might be this one. No, it's like bigger. Now that's the one. That's a 23 mil. On with a socket. Now that is a tight. Now, in situations like this, get yourself a nice piece of pipe. I've got an old handlebar from bicycle. Put it on, allows you to get a bit of leverage. There we go. <laughs> Off comes the nut. Okay. Off comes any washers. Okay, now. Normally on cars they'd have a look, the, the drum would be separate from the actual hub. This is all in one, so I'm going to have to remove the hub to get the shoes out. That's why I'm going to have to undo this. Um, now, because you'd slacken the shoes off, because you can't... Normally if you want to get it off, you should, you'd find that little hole that I showed you, slacken the shoes off, take the drum off. But what I'm going to have to do is do something slightly different. Just, uh, Move the camera back for you guys. To so move the camera back for you guys, because what I'm going to do is put the wheel back on. This is a technique for getting uh, drums off cars. Okay, so stick the wheel back onto the drum. Okay. Okay, wheel's back on. And the beauty of that is you've now got a whole wheel to be able to lever the drum off. Okay, got the drum into a position here. Embrace yourself for this. I'm gonna have to struggle with this, so I'll come back. <coughs> All right, that was just a bit of acting, but principles is basic, and you can leave the drum on the wheel. Bearings are pretty good; they're sealed bearings. As you can probably see, so they uh, don't need to be re-greased or anything, which is uh, quite nice actually. And they're pretty good bearings. Okay, now I've got to this baby. We can deal with that. Okay, so what we've got, we've got the caliper that pushes on two shoes, two springs. We've got two things holding the, uh, the shoes to the drum. These shoes already had it, that's why I'm wanting to, to remove that. So this pad coming off. Um, so first things first is to remove these things. So I'm probably just get a pair of, it's kind of like a spring loader thing. You just get a, a uh, pair of pliers, twist it. And the thing just simply just pops out. So we remove these. Take a look at what this is. It's just a camera, just a spring, a little thing that you, you twist. So it's one for the bottom shoe, one for the top. Remove those first. Okay. Top one off. Get it out. There we go. That's the second one off. Okay. Next, the shoes. 
And what we're going to do here is we're just going to uh, get a lever, crowbar, crowbar, and then just lever these things off like so. Uh, and that's uh, connected to the, the handbrake mechanism, so that comes off. So these are coming off. They're just two shoes, two springs. It's also a little adjuster here. That's off as well. Yeah, here's the adjuster bit. Very simple little thing that turns around. That's coming off as well. All of that is off. Okay, guys, now I want to focus on this. So this bit... If you can unbolt it, sometimes they have a little clip on the back, you can just take it out and remove it. There's also a little like handbrake lever part here underneath. But you've got a little piston in there, which works off a hydraulic system. Now, I don't know how to remove this, so I'm going to leave it in there. And what I don't want is a little piston in there slowly dropping out into the drum. So, I thought, well, maybe I can use a zip tie or something. But what I got some of this twin and earth electric cable if you've got some of this kicking around it's ideal strip a bit out like so see so a piece you got underneath the little piston here there's a little groove basically you come around to the top like so you uh Get a pair of pliers and give it a few twists. Like so. And that holds the piston in. And then you just push that to the side so it doesn't get caught in the drum. And that will hold the piston in, prevent it from falling out. I haven't used a zip tie because a zip tie might break. Uh, I've used Using this electric cable because it's copper, doesn't rust. I could use a steel wire, but steel would rust. Copper doesn't rust, so it's less likely to uh, this thing to drop out. Okay. Okay. One other thing problem you'll have is this kind of handbrake lever here. Uh, it's flapping about. To stop that from flapping around. You get another piece of uh, electrical wire. And we're going to thread it. Just need to bend this a little bit. Thread it under here. So yeah. Okay guys, so let's thread it underneath, around the piston, back through it and down. All I've got to do now is stop this thing flapping around. Bring it underneath. Grab it with the pliers. And start so my hands in the way twisting it together stops that from moving and then trim off any of the excess like so take it out of the way and that's all nice and neat it's not going to move anywhere Okay, let's get the wheel back on. Okay, so make sure nothing is loose. It's all tied in. Everything's all uh, not going to go anywhere. Uh, we can now put the wheel back on. So I've got the, the drum still in the wheel. Um, I didn't remove it, remove it from the wheel. So slip it back on. Uh, Guide it on, wiggle it in, give it a spin, and nothing, it's nice free wheel. Okay, next, get the, uh, the washers. Now, the bearings, if the bearings come apart, you might need to repack them. These are already sealed bearings, so you don't need to repack them. Um, put the uh, my hands on the way. Castle nut back on. Uh, get the uh, socket. Ratchet thing. Turn it up. 
Make sure it still spins as you tighten it up. The last thing you want is to tighten it to tighten it too much and it not to be uh, spinning. Is it lining up with something? A bit more of a tighten. Where is that hole? Give it a wiggle, make sure it's not to uh... I see the hole. So next, make sure the split pin goes through, give that a little tap with a, uh, shouldn't really do this with a pair of pliers, but anyway, But what I'm going to have to do is probably actually uh, remove the wheel to actually get the thing in. Okay, here we go. Okay, you don't want to watch me removing a wheel. I'll uh, be back. Okay, take the wheel off. A nice free hub. Right tool for the job. Oh, this uh, pin is not wanting to go in. Let's turn this around the other way. Hold two tools in one hand. I'll tell you what, let's try it from the other side. Might uh, sort of go in better. Bearing kits always provide a new pin, don't they? Mm. I'm going to stop this, try and line this uh, nut up a bit, and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, I've just lined it up a bit, so at last this should go through. Let's go to one side, but. Uh... Aha! A bit of a struggle bit of a persistence it's there okay obviously uh, let's uh, bend the pin over because one messing with a screwdriver so, bend the pin over prevent it from uh, ba -bum. it's a pin stops it from undoing Next, put this thing, so they put this thing back on, what's that rubber seal doing? Does it go anywhere? Hmm, okay. Sometimes, I just have to, okay. Now before you put these nuts in there, what I like to do is get some, uh, show it in the camera, oh, that, that way, copper ease, or copper grease. I just like to put a little bit on the threads, just like that, and also do it with the, the wheel nuts as well. Okay. Now, I don't think you want to see me tightening these uh, nuts up, so we'll come back. Okay, that's the last. They're all nice and tight. That's nice and free moving. There's a little thing here I might actually cut off. Okay, next, we're going to put the wheel back on. Okay, now same as before, what I like to do is just get a little bit of this uh, copper grease on the uh, studs simply because in the future, my hands in the way, in the future you might need to undo them 
Uh, it's nice to have something which uh, stops the things from seizing up. Okay. Okay, I'll tighten the slot up. Okay. Right, there we go, all done. Okay, wheel free, you can hear the wheel spinning freely, nothing rubbing it. Give it a, a wiggle, make sure the bearings are not loose. And that is how you unbrake a trailer wheel. Um, Burn it to both sides. Uh, just one word of warning. As I say, make sure it's less than three quarters of a ton. That's uh, 750 kilograms. And there is no working brake system. If there's a working brake system, you will not be able to do this because you need to uh, have a brake system to, uh, it's vital if you've got a heavy load. If it's designed to have a brake system, leave the brake system in. If not, it's just a free, less than three quarters of a ton, 750 kilogram trailer uh, load, then by all means. Uh, but also check the laws in your own country if you are not in the UK. Okay, I will leave a link down below to the uh, UK government uh, website about uh, trailer towing laws. Hope this is helpful. Till the next time. Thanks, guys.